Hi, in the last episode, we have shown you how we set up the K2 Pro. Now it's time to tell you how we use the camera. The K2 Pro is the most powerful VR 180 camera in the market, and we may want to shoot your footage in the best way for 3D. So before you touch anything in the camera menu, make sure the camera body it was placed in an absolute horizon way. You may help with a little uh, bubble leveler and put it on top of the camera to make sure the left and the right they are well balanced. Otherwise, some extreme pixel on the side they may not be well aligned in the 3D. Uh, even if you have a tiny misalignment, you can always fix that by some uh, professional software like the Mystica VR. It can be done fairly easily. But if you are offset too much, that may not be uh, well suitable. Oh, after you put the camera in the best position, you may want to make sure the aperture ring they were set to the same value. In this case, I set it to f4 for uh, easier calibration. And since this camera is a pre-production unit, we don't have a unified control across the two sides. So we may have to set some parameters manually one by one. Uh, the most important item will be the ISO. Usually we set the ISO to the native value to 2500. And if you are recording in progress, that is the most flexible way to, for you to adjust the colors in the post-production. And the menu here, make sure you are recording at the same resolution. Otherwise, the shutter button may not be working well. So you have the same value for the resolution, the same fr uh, frame rate, the same codec, to make sure they are always the same. For the exposure, I may want to set the shutter speed manually because as in some situations like with the lights, there may be some kind of flickering here. So I set the, exp uh, the shutter speed in the menu. And we are going to the connection menu. Under the connection, there's a multi-camera option. Since we have a sync cable ready, when you go in here, the right camera is showing up as a master and you can enable or disable the coordinated exposure or the coordinated white balance according to your needs. Once it is enabled, you will have a more consistent brightness and color across the two sides. And in many of the cases, if the scene was static, I may want to have a uh, user button set it like the uh, AE lock as well as the white balance lock. So you will have the same color across the whole footage. When you are happy with the settings here, you may now press the shutter button here. And both camera, they are recording in a synchronized mode. Sometimes the lights, they may not be blinking together, but the footage will be recorded in a very highly synchronized fashion. When it's ready, press the shutter again and you can have your footage ready. In the next episode, I will show you how we do the post-production in Mystica VR. So stay tuned and feel free to subscribe our channel and we will see you very soon. Bye-bye.